good morning welcome to day three of vlogging every day of october to try and build an engagement over on youtube i've just gotten out of bed i've been awake for like an hour but i was just enjoying having some nice cuddles with arlo who is in the window <laughs> so i just decided to just have an easy morning like it's my day off so i may as well but now i'm gonna get up go over and see simba because we're doing cat sitting and today's plan is i'm going to see my nanny pearl the polo is getting just a quick once over by the mechanic just to make sure that everything is tickety boo before the kind of like 14 day warranty runs out which i believe is Mon monday i'm sure everything is fine but obviously i'm not a mechanic so there could be something that i can't see which you know wouldn't be ideal would it so yeah yesterday i got my eyebrows tinted and you can actually see it now i feel like sometimes when you first get it done put those sleep curls bye girl um when you first get your eyebrows done it's like it's either really noticeable or it isn't and then the next morning it's like after I sorted out my absolute lion mane of hair, I decided to do some skincare. I do this every single morning and every single evening. I use face oil and in the day I use SPF. Just because it's autumn does not mean that you should be missing out on your SPF, guys. Get it on your face, get it on your neck. It's super important and makes you nice and youthful. The mechanic came and checked over the car. Everything was absolutely fine. And then I went for lunch with my nanny. I had a coronation chicken Just got sandwich. Back from seeing my nan. We went to the garden centre. I've just nipped to Tesco because for some reason the food shop this week just absolutely flopped. I have no idea what happened. So I've picked up some steaks. I've also picked up some more of these bad boys, skinny whips. If you're on a health journey, like a weight loss journey, these are so good. My favourite are the mint ones. But I've got Luke the double chocolate, is it? Double chocolate. Yeah, double chocolate. They're high in fibre. They're seven, these are 70 calories per bar and these ones are 72 calories per I'm just uploading the second vlog, which is quite short, but I've got to commit to the daily vlog life. I'm going to try and make today's vlog a little bit longer. Look at Arlo. Are you kidding me? He is so cute. I'm also going to go through and make a couple videos that relate to obviously the new car because uh, the mechanic came over today. He checked the car over and was very impressed <laughs> he looked at it and he was like oh like it's brand new like he was very very happy with it he was concerned at first oh, it's filthy. he was concerned at first that it might be um it might have a wet cam belt or a wet belt uh but then he rang someone and checked with my reg and it isn't so he's happy about that he had a look at everything, put the car, like, pumped the car up, had a look underneath, was impressed. But yeah, I love watching a classic horror film, Friday the 13th, they're just so, they're so rubbish that they're so good, and I just have to pause the TV though, because I've actually seen, so what is it with these types of horror films, they're like, yeah, they're like smart, <laughs> but I'm then gonna sit and read my book, because I've almost finished it, I've literally got like 40 minutes left of the book, so I'm gonna disappear into it. And then I am going to start a new book and that means I can talk to you about it. The book I'm reading at the moment is called Always the Bridesmaid and I do not like it. But I'm so close to finishing it that I'm like, oh, I may as well just finish it, you know. The characters in it are just like not my type. I love it when like the male character is like my type of man that I would go for. Like basically reminds me of Luke. <laughs> But these characters just aren't, and they don't remind me of me. Like, the girl doesn't remind me of me. She doesn't give any kind of relatable sense. She's actually just really annoying me. Look at him asleep with his paws out, though. Honestly, does anyone else just take videos and photos of their cat all the time? Like, look at that. Last week, I turned down a job offer and I actually thought I would come on here and talk about this because the job offer was for a graduate job. But actually, the only reason they were able to use that term somehow, there's so many employers that are kind of slipping through the cracks and doing things that 
I think are really bad. Uh, the only reason they put it as a graduate programme is because they were only hiring people who had degrees. So it wasn't a graduate programme and you would be overworked by working for them. And I just think it's so bad. But I wanted to come on here and talk to you about it because the industry is so difficult. Okay, there is literally nothing out there that is remote or at least mostly remote, so hybrid, that is in marketing, PR, um, merchandising that requires a degree that hasn't had hundreds of applicants. I've just applied for a job here on Easy Apply on LinkedIn, over 100 applicants. And that is just people that have applied through LinkedIn. It's so annoying, basically, is what I'm trying to say. The job, like, industry for anyone who's just finished university is just impossible. I currently work in a customer service role and my pay is like, I think it's like £12.29 an hour, which is actually really good considering what the minimum wage is, what, £11? £1.44. So I'm on like a decent wage considering but I have to work weekends the latest I can finish work is 8 p.m and to me it's not a career role I wouldn't want to work my rank like work my way up the ranks in there because the management roles just wouldn't they don't suit me um it would mean giving up the remote stuff and yeah just wouldn't like it after a bit of a lazy day i had a catch up with the girls in our bridal party for my best friend's wedding we had some tea which was steak and then i had a little yogurt watched some geordie shaw and then we headed out for a walk i cannot believe how quickly it's getting dark oh before we went for a walk we went to smith's toys which as a lego adult i absolutely love that place the one place i also love topsham i love coming for walks here it's so beautiful one of my favorite parts of devon bye